Well, good morning. It's another day here in the Twisted Knot Wood Shop. Today's uh, September the 9th, 2012, and I thought I would show you a video of a drill bit sharpening jig I came up with. Um, earlier in another video, I showed you my chisel sharpening jig, which uses this uh, base plate here, which has pins that are indexed into the table uh, both ends and they just slide down in the pin and it always orients the board so that it's flush with the edge of the sanding disc here and then the sled slides down this groove so that the chisel uh, maintains a, the uh, appropriate um, uh, placement against the, the, the sanding disc. And then the other day I was looking for a uh, uh, drill bit sharpening jig. And in the past I used to uh, just do it by eye, hold the drill bit um, against the sanding disc. And a lot of times uh, doing it that way you don't end up with a even uh, flute or web, sometimes they're called on both sides of the drill bit and you, know, you have to mess around with it and and reintroduce it and, and and dress it so it's back to where it's supposed to be and then my buddy Bob went to a yard sale and got this sharpening jig it's a general the number 825 you can see it right there and I got to looking at this and I thought Jesus what a what a piece of shit um, first off you have all of these little doodads up here you got to play with to clamp the drill bit and then this little adjustment thing down here and then you do this and then pull this back and then depending on the length of your drill bit and then you have a lock and oh god um, a pain in the... never mind so I got to thinking I said well maybe I could take and use this as a um, as a base plate for a drill jig, a drill bit sharpening jig of my own. So I went online and looked around and seen a couple of people's on YouTube, uh, their videos, and um, one guy had a table, it was a belt sander type of arrangement, it was about maybe three inches wide, and the little table on it had 59 degree angles uh, drawn on it. And what he did was he just held his uh, drill bit by eye again, um, the side or the edge of the drill bit along one of those lines, and then he would raise it up. Well, you're supposed to do that anyway, uh, because if you notice the the flute on the drill bit is not it's not flat this way; it's it's curved with the diameter of the bit. Okay. Well, I thought. Um, I can do this better. So I sat down for a little bit and thought, uh, based on what he was doing, what I could do. And so I came up with this. I've got the same uh, base plate here. I took a board to get the 59 degree angle. I, on a chop saw, I cut a 31 degree angle. 31 from 90 is 59. So if you look down here, you can see this pencil line which is 59 degrees from uh, 90. So I, then I made a uh, an arrangement here. It's just particle board, nothing fancy. This part is shorter than this part, so in case you have a longer drill bit, that it doesn't get involved with this plate down here. So therefore, that's the reason why that's shorter. Then I made it so that there's a bearing between these two parts here that it can pivot on and then it's curved here obviously so it doesn't get involved with the sanding disc um, same thing back here and then I clamped it down onto the base plate uh, drilled two holes for the pins to register in and now that's it that's it's not moving it's not going anywhere and it'll pivot so Earlier, before I started this video, I took a drill bit that needed attention 
and you can see how nice and shiny it is there. Both flutes are the same uh, same dimension. The point is centered on the drill, and I drilled a hole in a piece of particle board. Um, don't look at this hole yet. This is the entry hole of the freshly sharpened drill bit and then down here at the bottom it's nice and crisp same as the top nice and crisp this drill bit which is 3 eighths the other one was half inch if you look it's you might be able to not see it but um, I can point it out to you there's a nick there there's a this edge over here has got a couple of dings in it and the hole I drilled with this bit is right here this is the end and you can't see it too well but I can here it's rough around the edge but the outside is what is really uh, interesting is it's really rough there see how nice and clean it is on this half inch hole and then this one here is really rough uh, whether you're doing particle board or plywood or uh, oak, uh, whatever, you're going to end up with the same result. By the way, there was no flat part or no board underneath of the holes. There was a cup underneath the, the drill bit where bigger uh, bits have taken out space. So this was not sitting on anything flat, nor was this one. So there was no relief under or no backup board to prevent chip out. And you can see that the chip out didn't happen here because this one is was sharpened here so let's let's move on i'm going to show you how this works as you can again this bit is um uh, needs attention so what do we do well if you notice there's a fence sitting here beside this jig this high side here prevents the drill bit from obviously slipping off this provides the table for it to move up and down and the only thing that um, changes is the smaller the bit, the shorter it gets. Um, but that doesn't uh, change the sharpening procedure. What you do is you just introduce it. The uh, bits are supposed to be 59 degrees or 118 this way, 59 degrees, which is why that is at 59 degrees. So you introduce it, and if I if you if you were here to see this, you'd see it, but this is pretty darn close. It's hitting, I mean, from the whole length of the flute, it's hitting the sanding paper. But we need to get rid of all those nasty edges, so we turn it on. Now I want you to see how fast this goes. Um, I don't know how long it would take to set this thing up. I can imagine a day. Uh, who knows? Um, as far as Drill Doctor is concerned, I've seen them. I've never used one. I don't think they're this fast, but let's see. Um, watch the timer on your uh, YouTube uh, clock there, and we'll see how quick this goes. Ready? Here we go. I push it in, introduce it, raise it up, push it in, raise it up, and push it a little bit at the same time. Turn it over to the next loop, push it in. And look, I still got a little nick there. So turn it over. Do both sides uh, do both sides equally. She's gone. Oop, wrong switch. And if you look, the point, the the chisel point of the bit is still in the center. Both flutes are the same length, nice and shiny. And that's it. You can, uh, I don't know if you can see my fingernail scraping off, but uh, that's how sharp it is. And there you go. I assume that you could do this on a 
Santa machine that has a miter slot in it and make a, a bridge like this, a, a mounting plate and or you could just clamp it down to your table of your um, belt sander or whatever you got um, and do something similar to this that way it's always you know um, uh, tight here and then you just have your registering points here with the index pins and uh, and it took me all of uh, oh half hour to make it maybe 45 minutes um, so there you are use that for however you want to and happy drill bit sharpening talk to you later bye